Liz Truss, do you remember her? That person who was our UK Prime Minister for 50 days. If she even made it to 50 days, I can't remember. I know it was 40 something days actually. Well, I remember she lost to a lettuce. Anyway, um, what I do remember is that she was the UK Prime Minister for a period um, before uh, she tanked the economy alongside uh, Kwasi Kwarteng. Well, anyway, she's trying to make a political comeback. A few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, she uh, was a part of the uh, popular Conservatives, even though they're not so popular because I think nowadays we've all forgotten about them and the amount of times that she keeps trying to retreat, <laughs> retreat her, her stuff. If you go check her Twitter, she's continually retweeting stuff and uh, then just look at the replies. So she's not very popular. Well, anyway, because she's actually not so popular in the UK, she's decided to go to the US and uh, attend CPAC, the Conservative Political Action Conference, which is held every year where every single Donald Trump lover and uh, ultra-conservative Republican in the US goes every year. Yes, if you want to find everyone who supports Donald Trump once a year, you need to go to CPAC. Well, basically, she's gone to CPAC, uh, not on her own, though. She's gone alongside uh, Nigel Farage. They're representing Britain at this CPAC <laughs> conference. Well, anyway, she's uh, made some uh, accusations about the deep state, that's a quote that she uses <laughs> in the UK. She's accused uh, the UK civil service. That's what she means. She's accused the UK civil service of being uh, staffed, uh, and I quote this, being staffed by trans activists and environmental extremists. That's right. The UK civil service is full of trans activists and environmental extremists, according to her. Although, uh, if you want to get a job in the civil service, there is a lot of vetting. So... And maybe that's the case, but even after a lot of vetting, they're still good to be in the civil service. Maybe it's just because everyone is just left wing of her. Um, she is probably on the right of the right wing and everyone is just left wing. Well, anyway, she's been invited. Donald Trump is also invited. He will be making a big speech there. Sadly, Nikki Haley, who is his Republican opponent in the primaries, hasn't been invited. And the topic of this year is where globalism comes to die. That's right, where globalism comes to die. They really hate globalism. Well, anyway, she said that the deep state caused her premiership to end early. Uh, she wanted to cut taxes, uh, reduce the state and take back control. Where have we heard that uh, phrase before? She wanted to take back control <laughs> of uh, the government <laughs> or the UK. And she faced huge backlashes, apparently, from the bureaucrats. Uh, she said, nowadays, most people joining the civil service um, after coming out of university are essentially leftist activists, whether they're for trans rights or environmental rights. So basically, most of the people who are coming out of university nowadays are more left wing than right wing. Maybe she should look at her own government party that have destroyed the country over the past 14 years. That um, if you look at any YouGov poll where they um, show you the age differences, basically everyone under 50 uh, hates the Conservatives. <laughs> I think I saw um, one poll that said only 3% of uh, 18 to 21 year olds support the Conservatives. So uh, there you go. I think um, that's probably part of the problem. Uh, also, the Conservatives have been in government for 14 years. I mean, maybe it was your fault. Yeah, that's right. Well, anyway, she also name-checked some a different um, government um, um, things, uh, government agencies, um, such as the Environmental Agency, the Office for Budget Responsibility, where... Uh, or who give um, the independent um, in, uh, independent economic results, the Bank of England as well, and also the Judicial Appointments Commission. They're all left-wing, they're all um, leftist and working against the UK. All I would say to Liz Truss, Liz Truss is this, your government fucked the country, what do you expect really? Why, why are there no Conservatives left in the UK? The last 14 years show that uh, the Conservatives have damaged the country. 
and uh, caused the state that the country is in. First, with uh, the austerity. Second, with the Brexit. And third, changing leader every 18 months. So you can see this has been created by you. And uh, no wonder everyone now is more left wing than right wing. So stop crying about it and uh, get on with it. Um, that's all I would say. By the way, Liz Trust, let's talk about her. Um, when she was younger, she was a Liberal Democrat and hated the monarchy. She then joined the Cameron government as a Liberal Conservative and uh, was an ardent Remainer. Now she is a Brexiteer and um, trying to emulate Thatcher. And that says a lot about Liz Trust. She flip-flops more than Keir Starmer. And uh, there we go. So anyway, thanks a lot. If you like the video, press like and uh, subscribe for more.